Mr. M presents Translating Shapes. Hi everybody. In this video we're going to look at one of our transformations, the one called translation. Translation is essentially moving a shape from one place to another. In this case I have a nice shape right here, shape A, B, C, D, a nice square. And I'm going to move that shape uh, a little bit on the page. How am I going to move that? Well, I think I'll move it four spaces down and eight spaces across. Now this original shape here is known as the pre-image, and that's because any time I move this shape, I'm going to get an image of it, uh, a representation of it, but in a different place. So this is the pre-image because it's the original shape. That's why we call it the pre-image, before it becomes an image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on one point. So I'm going to start with point A here. Okay, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the two movements. I'm going to first move this point four down, and then I'm going to move it eight to the left. So I'm literally going to count down one, two, three, four spaces, and then I'm going to count over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight spaces. And there I'm going to need. A new point and that's going to be my new point a but because it's the image and not my original shape i can't just call it a because it's not the exact same thing i'm going to call it a one okay now look at what i did here i basically just moved the four spaces down and the eight spaces to the left that's it very straightforward um i can do that for the next shape i can keep counting squares but since this is a square, it's actually a pretty easy one to do. I don't really need to count for B because I know that B is going to be two spaces away from A, two spaces to the right of A. So my new B, I'm going to get rid of my marks here, my new B is going to be right here, two spaces to the right of A. And it's going to be B1 because it's part of my first image. C is always two spaces below B, so C is now going to be there, and it's going to be C1, and you guessed it, D is two spaces to the left of C, or two spaces under A, so I'm going to place it there, and it's going to be, yep, you bet, D1, because it's my first shape. So there you go. Now let's do a check and see. I'm going to pull my shape over here. I could just connect the dots if I was doing this on paper. I'm going to place it. Do I have the same shape? Yeah. Aside from my exaggerated points, I really do. So this shape just moved four spaces down and eight spaces to the left. And there it is. That's my new image. The shape is now square A1, B1, C1, D1. That's the name of it. So I'm going to Rename it square A1, B1, C1, and D1. And notice I'm keeping it in alphabetical order. That's how I name my shapes. I keep them in the appropriate alphabetical order. A, B, C, D. Now, I'll often be asked to uh, give the coordinates of my new shape. So for that, I, what I would do is look at my shapes and figure out where they are. So with A1 as an example, I would say the coordinates for my new shape are point A1. And point A1 is at negative 5 on the x-axis and positive 2 on the y-axis. So A1 would be negative 5, 2, and so on. It's just that simple. I would recommend that you go point by point, and if you have a complex shape, uh, don't take the shortcut that we took. Just literally uh, take all your points in alphabetical order and replace them and then connect the dots. Okay, and that's probably the easiest way to do it. If you take time and you're careful and accurate about how you place them and you pay careful attention to that, then you should be good to go. Okay, good luck with your translating.